Hi, I'm Michaela Harrison. I'm a freshman at Waverly High School, and this is my poem called Answering Homophobia in G Minor. Because my porcelain body couldn't possibly make that note. My sonata of struggles and runs of pleas are played in front of an audience that forgot that rap, R&B, and hip hop weren't the only genre left. Played in front of parents who only appreciate the oldies, my body screams in fortissimo and cries in pianissimo. You were selected here and didn't want to listen. Your golden pedestal was too high for me. My classical music was killed when you put the same song on repeat and burned with your inability to expand your playlist. You carved the sheets from my body, stole the notes from my lungs, and pulled every string from my hair. So when a girl gave me her symphony to play and recreate, I was confused. No one wanted to be a part of my band before, so I thought her audition was a joke, but it wasn't. You see this girl, she brought up my pianissimo and down my forte, fought for my sanity of mezzo. Happiness ran throughout my body, made me almost forget my sadness like a sforzando in my chest. She held me, rocked me to the rhythm of my love, kissed me to the beat of my heart, she screamed at me to fall in love with his composer. She made sculptures with the ashes of my sheet music and held them to her heart. So when you took her from me, stole our love songs, and burned our sculptures again and again and again. I was furious. She tried to save our love songs, sweep the ashes into her heart, but you dug them out of her body and made her instrument leak. The audacity of two different composers coming together to make a chorale of feelings was just absurd. Said we could not play our love songs. My 4-4 would not match her at half time. Her sharps would contradict my flats. Our cutoffs would be false. No one would be able to hold our fermatas. We would do nothing but squeak. Where was your music before? Why are you so classical now? When did you learn how to play hate? You didn't care about my music before, so what is so different now? You said all of this to a girl that cares, a composer who knows how to conduct, no matter how judgmental the audience was. You said this to a girl that loved me like Beethoven loved vibration, the girl that used my hair as her violin and stroked it with compassion, bring my vocal cords into echoes of love, reconnected my heartstrings and played every note. She whittled my reed and rang vibrato through my entire body. So when you took her from me, it was no surprise that I just couldn't make music anymore. We never judged your broken keys or took our music and shoved it down your throat. Not once did we comment on your mismatched rhymes bash against reality, taking back with race, gender, or religion. Let me choose who plays my symphonies. Now I know we have two different bucks, but let's not judge. Because <coughs> I want to know the notes that make my body chill and love the director that whispered them into my heart. So next time someone asks me who I love, why can't my only answer be to wonder why it matters?